Hi guys, this is Coach James. I'm with Coach Josh, and we're going to show you the simple and sinister 25-15. So you got 25 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rotate, uh, six stations overall. You're going to go around the room five times with a break between each of those stations. So starting over here on the ropes, we're going to do side to side slams. So you're going to start on the on one hip, and you're going to turn through those hips, and then rope up like a rainbow, and then slam it down on each side. You really need to turn those hips and get that bit going on the back foot. The next exercise, we're going to rotate over here to the TRX, and we're going to do those skull crushers. So, you want those hands out front, shoulder level, you get that slight lean forward, and you're going to bend at those elbows, bring your hands towards your forehead, and then push those hands straight out. You see Josh is maintaining that nice moving plank, and he's keeping those arms up like he has them on a table or a shelf. You want to keep those elbows nice and high and drive those hands out with that nice squeeze in those triceps. You know, if also, if this isn't feeling comfortable, just go into your chest press here if that feels a little more comfortable for you. Do what he's saying. Audible, James, I'm sorry. <laughs> then you're going to come over here on the blue floor, and we're going to do a side lunge to toe touch. So you're going to step to one side, you're going to sit that butt back towards that heel, keeping that knee in line with that ankle as you sit back. So you can work that one side, stepping, stepping into that side lunge, reaching down, touching with that opposite toe. Or you can go back and forth, stepping out side to side. Again, you really want to focus on sitting back, almost into that, that kind of a squat as you go back and forth. Then you're going to rotate over here, this area of the blue floor. And we're going to do that plank with the bag pull through. So you're getting in that plank position, that uh, bag is going to be right around top of those ribs, and you want to really take your time here to pull that bag nice and slow back and forth. You see Josh is maintaining that nice steady hip level as he pulls back and forth because his hips aren't flying open, his shoulders aren't flying open. He's maintaining that nice steady plank. If you need to here, take those feet wider uh, to maintain the stability. You can also do this from your knees. If you're going to go from your knees, you want those knees behind your hips. So you're not in that tabletop position, you really want to have those knees back so you're still working those core muscles. Then we're going to rotate over here to the skiers. You're going to grab those handles, you're going to soft bend in those elbows, and you're going to sit back as you pull, bring those hands all the way back, getting nice and deep into that hip hinge, and then back up on those toes at the top of that movement to really get that full range of motion. Again, 25 seconds, you want nice, intentional pulls as you go back and forth. And then last station over here with the dumbbells, we're gonna do renegade row. So again, you're in that nice solid plank position. You're gonna go lighter with the weight here. This isn't about lifting a lot of weight off the floor. So you just wanna maintain that nice steady plank as you row. If you wanna challenge yourself here, you can throw in that push up, row, row, and then push up. Again, if you need to, you can take those knees down to the floor, if you're going to use, uh, if you're going to go from your knees, you can use the blue floor for, for cushioning. Again, you want those knees behind those hips and maintaining that nice, solid plank. So that's your simple and sinister 25-15. Nice job, Coach Josh.